All right, we're going to go into an important topic for me because when I first started uh, publishing videos on this channel, one of the reasons I did so is because I was seeing a lot of dude bros on YouTube just spouting out really interesting things and uh, things that they thought interesting and didn't really understand exactly how the market works in particular industries. And one of the things that I saw that was particularly nerve wracking for me was that a lot of, so my background is in SEO and writing articles for the web. And a lot of the gurus I was following in the SEO space said, well, you know, you don't pay attention to AI because it's not actually producing original content. It's just producing very generic base content and so you don't really have to worry about it um, we don't re recommend you use it except in very specific use cases yada 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 because it can't do original content and having played around with ai enough to that at that point i knew that this was wrong you absolutely can create original content using ai but you got to think about ai a little bit differently ai is not a tool for creating content it's a productivity tool to get the content you want out faster. And I will show you what I mean. So this is the prompt we're gonna use. We're going to start a first chapter of a book about AI. The language should be clear and concise, not using the corporate we. This is all style information that I use myself. And speaking in first person from my point of view. Overall, it should be highly scannable, directed to the point and avoid any fluff, redundancy or cheesiness. Use mixed cadence. Do not use two words or phrases when one will do. Avoid redundancy within a sentence. Avoid unnecessary prepositional phrases. You know, these are all things that I've found to help uh, with its style uh, because these are all pain points that I've seen. Um, that's a side note. But we're going to start out with about 1,000 words about a story from my own life with these key points. So AI does not know anything about my life obviously uh well it might know a few things but it doesn't know this story this is something i've never shared with the ai before and so these are the key points and i just say my hands are covered over the keyboard unable to write didn't know what i was going through just could not write my wife and i are religious and she even asked me if maybe this was a sign from god that i was meant for something else besides writing this is the start of a story uh, about me and my um situation with burnout that I had a couple of years back, which is one of the reasons why I got into AI in the first place, uh, which is why I'm talking about it here for this book on AI. By the way, this is, I guess, my first official announcement that I am writing a book about using AI. And this is basically how I'm writing it, is going this route. And so if we give it this information, And now it has given me this first little bit of the story. Blank, staring into the luminous abyss, fingers aching to dance over the keys, yet they hung there suspended, my hands typically eager to bring thoughts to life shied away from the cold impersonal plastic. They quivered as if touching the keys might incur some divine wrath. I felt there has hesitance as the echo in my heart where once lived a torrent of ideas now vacant as a ghost town. Okay, first of all, way too over dramatic so that's something i would have to fix but um if you go on and read this it's following my key points and giving me a lot of text from what was just a couple of bullet points and so while this does take longer than just telling it to write you something uh to create all of these key points generally speaking when i'm writing something or planning to write an article for example i will have a big list of key points that I want to hit within the article. And this is something that I do even before AI came around. I would always do just a brief outline of what I would cover in that chapter and hit all of the key points. And so it's often something that we as writers do anyway. And so once we have them, we can easily plug them into the AI and get it to do the heavy lifting for us here. And then we can just go through the results and edit it. In this case, I would be editing this heavily. In fact, I will probably not use any of this. Um, I'll be tweaking with the style later. But for now, this is how you write original content. You don't ask the AI to write original content. You give it the specific details that it needs and then it is easily able to incorporate those into it and this is why ai is more of a productivity tool than it is a 
you know, create something out of nothing kind of tool. It's just a way to speed along the process, if you will. And so this is important if you write for the web and you're worried about original content, you can still have original content just by creating a few bulleted lists of, of what you wanted to cover. Um, and this is actually how I write articles for my own website now, uh, for my personal website, MythBank, and uh, sometimes for the ner my nerdy novelist website as well, although I'm not writing as many articles over there. Um, this is how I do it. I give it the topics I want it to cover and then it does so. And so that is how you to create original content using AI and I'll see you in the next video.